to make your guitar sound like a horse on steroids. That's what we're doing. So, a few guitar players that have done things like this over the years. And um, there's a couple ways to do this. If you get the wrong harmonic, it's not going to sound as good. And where I'm hitting it is kind of a tough spot. So, the type of pickups you use will play into this. <laughs> experiment I'm going to give you where I think the tonality is the coolest here um, if we do natural harmonics um, the, the most pure easiest spot for a natural harmonic is frets 5 7 and 12 and that's where you lightly press above the fret wire pick and then remove the finger but you can get a I'm going for the higher frequency So you can go around fret 15 on the G, which is like I said, real light pressure, especially on these harder to get ones, and fret 14. Um, a nice way to do it is to swoop the whammy bar up. So you would you'd have the whammy bar down from the beginning. Pick, bring the whammy up to pitch. See, I've got it on the tips of, my, of these three fingers. Once I get it up to pitch, I do these quick jolts as I'm pressing the whammy bar down this way so you want to keep it going down like whoa trigger now that's a way to do it with natural harmonics right okay fret 2 and fret 14 are the octave or the Fret, um, fret wise and note wise that's the octave so you can get the same harmonic frequency so one may be a little easier maybe easier over here on fret 2 on the G or fret 14 but mess around with fret 15 that's a good spot fret 3 um, I said every guitar is a little different they're set up different and another way to do them probably harder <laughs> Well, I don't know that it would be harder, but it would be doing pinch harmonics. So I like to grab fret two on the G. And pinch harmonic the horsey out of it. And then when you finish something like this, you want the impact of this horse on steroids. You want to stop the notes. With this hand, this hand, or both, or shut the volume off right after. As I'm doing it, my thumb's muting the E and A. Middle's handling that G, this is handling the bottom two. And those are things that don't get explained a lot, and then people try something, and it's like, it sounds like a freaking train wreck. You gotta handle those mutes because we're using the whammy bar. It's gonna cause those strings as you press the bar down to wanna start shaking because they're loose, right? From doing the dive bomb. So we wanna have all our bases covered around our target note, which in this case, for the uh, the horse on steroids, it's the G that we're using. Experiment, like I said, the concept I want you to get used to. I've found that on the G string there seems to, to work the nicest for this type of thing. So um, take your time with it. That is how to make your guitar sound like a horse on steroids. All right, be sure to subscribe to the channel, share, comment. And uh, you know, I've had a lot of emails where people are saying, Mike, can you show, show us some of the tricks you do like randomly in your videos? So that's what got me thinking about this. So this shout out goes to you guys, <coughs> as does the cough. If you're interested in private lessons, hit me up. I teach on Skype. Email is rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. All right? And I also offer CVT and CT lessons. Those are personalized, custom lessons. Um, very, very detailed. For more information, check this channel. Check my website, rockinguitarlessons.com. Um, and read up about it. Okay? So until next time, whoa, trigger. <laughs>